Welcome on in guys and welcome to another tutorial guide for starting the A10Z2. So welcome on in. Uh, first off we are going to move down to the right hand side here to the electrical control panel and we have the battery switch. We are going to flick the battery switch up. We are going to turn the inverter switch to standby. We are then going to come over to the left hand side. We can arm our ejection seat while we're here. Let's do that because it kind of hides the switch. So we're going to start the APU. You're going to see the EGTs rise and the uh, percentage rise here as well. We're going to wait for 100%. There we are, we are stable, we can turn on the APU Gen Power. We are then going to come down here to underneath the CDU and we are going to flick up the Eggy switch, which is the embedded global positioning switch and the CDU switch, that's going to get that up and running. We are going to come over to the left hand side, we are going to turn on the IFFCC which is Integrated Flight and Fire Control Computer. We're going to turn that all the way up. There is a test that you can run through on the first position but we'll skip that. Uh, GTRS uh, which is the Joint Tactical Radio System, we will turn that on. The CICU which is the sent Central Interface Control Unit, we will turn that on. We can turn our MFDs to day or night, depending on uh, your time of day. Uh, we can now turn to the throttles and we are going to move the left throttle into the idle position. And that is going to start our left engine. You'll see it begin to spool up here. RPMs are climbing, temps are beginning to climb. Got hydraulic power now. And we're going to wait for that to stabilise. When that stabilises, you will see that there will be a light flashes here for APU gen power. The left engine will then be providing enough power uh, for you to then turn off the APU gen power. So there we go. We are providing our own power now with the engines. So we can turn off the APU gen power. Back over to the throttles. Left engine is now stable. So we can move the right throttle into the idle position. See the RPM start to climb. Temperatures are starting to climb. We can also, while we're on the left hand side, we can turn on the radios, the 186 to transmit receive, the 164 to both, and the 210 to transmit receive. We can put our yaw sass up, our pitch sass up come up to the uh, light control, the uh, gear control panel here and we can turn on the anti-skid. Uh, also underneath the left throttle you'll see the flap switch is hiding under there. We're going to set our uh, flaps to 10 degrees for takeoff. Also hiding behind there is the takeoff trim switch. If you press and hold that for a couple of seconds that will set the takeoff drum. Uh, we can uncage the ADI, the backup ADI, there we go. Uh, we are pretty much there now, so we can come up to the right MFD, click on the CDU, and we're going to wait for our alignment here. When the I align INS nav ready starts to flash, we will click the nav button on the right MFD 
and that will extinguish the nav light here. Takes a minute or so. With both engines now up and running, you can also turn off the APU. INS nav ready. Click on nav. And then we are going to come down here and you're going to see the EGI switch just above the TCN switch. We're going to click on that. We're going to then come back over to the left hand side underneath the left throttle. We have the EAC switch and we're going to flick that up. And there we go. All the lights are now extinguished. We can close the canopy. And we are essentially ready to taxi. There you go guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick video uh, hopefully you will join me again for another one in the near future you can also catch me on twitch most nights i will leave a link to my channel in the description anyway guys take care thank you for watching have yourself a great day